we're here. It is 2021 when you're watching this. How does it feel to be in the future? I am filming this at 9.20, almost nine, after 9, almost 10 o'clock. I mean, I'm rounding up here at night on New Year's Eve, so also I got a new chair. And it, look guys, it has a back. Isn't this incredible? I finally sprung and got an actual chair so that when I'm working, my back is not killing me. And my Christmas tree is still up. You know, I'm in quarantine currently and I'm not leaving the room. I was like to go to the bathroom and fill the water, you know, that sort of thing. I'm not taking extended leave for my room until next Thursday. So we're spunkered in here. I'm not putting my decor away until I'm all clear of quarantine and I can go ahead and put everything away all at once. So here we are. I am not wearing my hair. My wig. I call it wearing my hair. You know how it is. Today we're going to talk all about 2020 and I'm sure people just want to not talk about this year, but in a year that was full of so much terribleness, there were some good things that happened. So I'm just going to give a year in review of things that I did and we did on this channel or things that happened and whatnot in the year 2020. If you're new here, I would love for you to subscribe. I do two videos a week now. I scaled back from doing three videos during the holiday season and would love to have you guys stick around. I do vlogs, sit down videos like this, beauty, comic book stuff, Star Wars stuff, whatever you want. We'll be doing it on my channel. There will be a lot of comic book stuff. I feel like 2021 is going to be very comic book heavy. Not doing anything uh, looking towards the year because uh, we know how those things worked out. So let's just talk about what we what we know this year. So we're gonna go back and start in January. You remember things in January? So and then, like some of the stuff, it was uninteresting. Whatever like, you know, this is this is for me. So I took um, a winter class, the first time I'd ever taken a winter class, and I took. Uh, anthropology of Law. It was a four-week online intensive class. You had class every single day. We had readings every single day. It was very reading heavy. It was very, very work heavy because of how short the class was. But it was so interesting that I wish, looking back, and I took anthropology in the fall semester in 2019. I wish I had taken anthropology. I honestly could have seen myself was not interested in theater being an anthropology major. That's how interesting it was to me. And I just thought it was such an important class because we got to learn uh, like the laws of people, the laws of different societies. The way law and, and that's written is very Western perspective and doesn't have very much room for, um, you know, other cultures that existed long before the, the Western norms. So it's very interesting to learn about and just different laws in different different areas and different legally stuff that she might might not know about. I then started my last semester in college. Very interesting semester. <laughs> um, did not get to end it the way I wanted to, but I liked the way it started. Um, I, if you didn't know, I graduated with a theater degree. We'll talk about that later. Acting four was the last thing of acting, so it was basically an audition class. Uh, acting for the camera, which was amazing, taught by Ali Sheedy, who is most known for The Breakfast Club, but super sweet woman, and honestly I need to reach out to her because she is... I need to see how she's doing, because she is a delight. Um, but I got to do several scenes there. I did um, a scene from Midsummer. I did a scene from Knives Out. I did a scene from Room. Those were my scenes for acting for the camera. Very, very, very interesting. Um, probably you will not see those um, unless you're some sort of casting director and you're on backstage and you need to see a reel. And I took Theater History 2, which was the most interesting from Theater Histories because it covers both Shakespeare, it goes from like Shakespeare to Ibsen, so love that. Again, if you don't know anything about theater, then you're just like, mm, I don't know what you're talking about. I love classical theater. I love naturalism. So I love Ibsen. I love Strindberg. Very depressing, sort of angry, aggressive sort of plays. 
That's my strong suit. Anything pre-1945 is my strong suit. February. Things are still looking good in February. I believe this was the month of the Oscars. Can't remember. Parasite won Best Picture. That happened in 2020. I'm sure y'all have seen all this, but that happened in 2020. We had the Emmys at some point too, but that was when we were already in quarantine. But the Oscars happened and Parasite won Best Picture, Jojo Rabbit won, Taika Waititi won Best Script, or um, I can't remember the exact word, but it is, it is for Best Script. Got a lot of, stuff, a lot of stuff happened there, and good, good, good news, and, and stuff like that, and then uh, March rolled around, and uh, quarantine hit, obviously. Um, Florida was not in on it. They, they didn't get the memo. I live in New York City. So I went home to Florida for three months. Florida was not in the same situation. Um, they didn't peak uh, quite as early. They peaked when I left. So they Florida peaked cases after I left and came back to New York. <laughs> so um, yeah, if you know anybody who's dealt with this, entire, I mean, we're all dealing with it, but if you know anybody passed away had covid had anybody they know you know i feel for you and it's something we're just gonna have to figure out moving forward because obviously we're still in it you know it wasn't as quick as any of us thought it was gonna be i thought it was a flu at first that was like we were gonna be over this within a month maybe at the most and i had no idea the impact it was going to have on our entire lives. But I'm not going to sit here and talk about COVID. Because <laughs> obviously that was the, the, that was the, she was the winner of 2020. But um, we're going to continue to talk about, then we get into April. Um, don't remember much that happened in April. I mean, I was at home, I was doing classes, I was hanging out with my little brother. He's a treat. Um, helped him with classes and stuff like that. I think he's in second grade. I asked him and he got really mad that I said I didn't know what grade he was. <laughs> Easter rolled around. Um, Jack, if you're watching this, cover your ears because I got to be the Easter Bunny. I was very excited about that. I love to do things for kids, so it was super exciting. Um, May rolled around and I graduated from college. Not how I wanted to. I didn't get any sort of ceremony, but I have a degree, so it doesn't matter. I've actually not received my degree physically. I assume it's somewhere on my campus, so I don't know what deal is with that. But I gotta get my degree at some point. Not totally here to brag, but also here to brag. I graduated with a 3.89 GPA. Hire me, folks. I got the big brains. June, all I have is I went back to New York. That's it. I didn't really do anything very exciting. I started picking videos back up on this channel because when I was doing school and when I was at home, I didn't really have videos I was doing. I had been auditioning at the time. Um, I haven't sent in an audition for a while, but um, I have a seasonal job, so it's kind of hard for me to do that with everything going on and it's full time. So I haven't recently, but um, for the later half of the year, I was submitting auditions. So that's what I was doing in that time. July, same thing, but I spent the last month of my old lease with my delightful roommate, Sarah, who then moved out and she went back home and then I later uh, moved up here, but that's later. We're not there yet. I also wrote last year, so it doesn't really matter, but I um, edited it a little bit and I did a reading of my play. If anybody is interested, you just let me know and I will send you the link. It is on YouTube, but it is uh, privatized because um, there's a lot of copyrighted material in it, so I don't necessarily want it to get flagged and taken down. So it's on private, but lovely, lovely, lovely experience. I love all of them so much and I can't wait to get it in person. That was my dream for this year. It's not happening this year. Possibly something we're looking at at 2022, but we don't know how long we're going to be in here. Um, I would love to get it into a film. I think that would be really great. But uh, I, I love my play with a passion. It's called The Garden. It is a story about a young lesbian who gets kicked out of her house and then her girlfriend runs away with her, uh, believes in the mind that she's rescuing her, 
and takes her on. Basically, it's a cross-country trip, so they figure out that they're going to go to California. And it takes place in 1970, and if anybody knows me, I love the 70s, so... It was very fun to do all the research and to get everybody in that 70s vibe, um, for sure. It's I, I love that era. I love the late 60s and the um, early to mid 70s. It's August moved into this apartment, which we, we got moving a lot. We got everything. Anything I talk about, we got we usually got videos on it. So moved into this apartment. Um, it's my third place I've lived in New York City. So I'm at least and I love my apartment, and I got little Casey Wacy Wacy who is taking a little nappy on my bed right now. Um, if you haven't seen Casey, um, I don't want to move the camera, so I'll just insert a picture of Casey here. She's adorable. I have lots of pictures of her. She's my quarantine buddy. She's not feeling very good today. She... she has a worm. But um, I adopted her from a lovely, lovely woman named Holland who owns Cat Castle here in New York City and who I will continue to support that charity if I am to ever get any future cats. Not, not, not now. I can see myself having multiple cats, but not with roommates, not in this situation. Um, but I would get, go through her and if you live in the New York City area and you're looking for a cat, give them through her. She's a lovely, lovely person. Um, she is dropping off, uh, worm, deworm, uh, liquid, uh, medication for free to me tomorrow. She doesn't owe me anything. She loves cats more than anyone, and she rescued Casey off the street. So, um, Casey owes, you owe Holland your life. So yeah, I adopted Casey. Casey's lovely. So all this and like no content. After Birds of Prey had come out in February and then we had like no content. But September rolled around, we had The Boys Season 2. And I'm literally thinking about starting a rewatch of The Boys tonight. This was so good, y'all. And I just, I'm so blown away and so thankful for your response to those videos on this channel. And I'm so excited for whenever The Boys Season 3 comes out so I can do more nerdy videos of me talking about these shows that I watched. Like, I love to do that. And it's so cool that people actually watch what I have to say. I mean, I'll say that about The Mandalorian too. It's like, it's so exciting to the fact that some of y'all want to hear what I have to say. And uh, if you're watching this video, you know. But I, it really does mean a lot. It's really cool, really cool. And I mean, I know I am like 154 subscribers and stuff like that. I'm not like in the millions of the dome, you know, I'm not Mr. Emergency awesome over here with my video breakdowns, but it means a lot. I mean if I get If I get 35 people to watch my video, that's 35 people to watch my video Even if you watch two minutes and then clicked out you watch my video. So I appreciate you 35 people and sometimes sometimes more. I mean my boys finale got to nearly 300 views, so I really appreciated that so much. October things were looking up for a little bit, you know, we had to and I'm not saying things are looking up now, you know Went apple picking in the Catskills um, to a town called Milton in New York. Not too, too personal, but um, I'd been there before, and that's kind of funny that I didn't know that's where the apple orchard was, but it was really nice. I made some apple pies, got a lot of stuff. I made a lot of stuff there. Mandalorian season two premiered on the 30th. Um, yeah, I'd re I rewatched a couple episodes of it. Um, good season overall. Really enjoyed it. I have videos of all of those episodes if you want to go back and watch them. I won't say too much, but um, hold on, I have some friends that want to join. The twins wanted to join the video. These are my children. The little baby grogies. My grogus. I can't call them grogu. I have to call them grogi. I like it better. But yeah, we got more baby Yoda in our life. We got the palette too. I didn't make a video still. Like, you know, I'm not talking that much about makeup. I did many. I have a best of. Uh, 2020 makeup video I can put in there. Did a low-key Halloween. Low-key, not low-key, L-O-K-I. We did talk about low-key at the end of the year as well. That'll be more in 2021. November, Little Mix dropped some confetti. From the sky drop my confetti. Oh, that's all me. So be Good album. Overall, 
say it's their third best. Uh, I think LM5 is their best. I do love Get Weird, so then I put Get Weird after that, and then I put Confetti. I mean, Get Weird didn't age the greatest, but I still adore it, and I'm gonna be biased because I started, like, really loving Little Mix in, like, 2013-2014, which is when, um, it was, like, Get Weird was the first album that came out that I was, like, in the fandom for, so. Really loved that. Had Thanksgiving at home, made a 19 pound turkey. It tasted delicious. I still have some in my freezer. I started doing three videos a week, which was kind of crazy, but I did it, y'all. I did three videos a week for a good month there, and it, it's done, and I'm glad. It's December! That's technically what we're still in right now while I'm filming this. My birthday was this month. I turned 23 years old. I'm 23, right? I'm at the point where I have no freaking idea how old I am. I went home for Christmas. It's very nice. You can watch all my vlogs from my little vlogmas week by weeks. And uh, then Wonder Woman 1984 came out, baby, and it was okay. So um, I did love it. I have a review on that as well, and I appreciate all of your support, and I get a lot of a lot of subscribers from that video, so I really appreciate y'all. And even if you don't share my point of view or my opinion, I appreciate you. And I appreciate y'all for commenting, for having a different opinion, and being nice. You know, it's kind of funny, this isn't about this, but I'm just gonna go on it anyway. DC fans have this reputation, I don't know if it's like a Twitter thing because I've seen it, of being nasty. Um, nasty to others. And this is a thing on Twitter. Particularly, I've seen it there. On YouTube, any of the DC fans who've watched my videos have been the nicest people ever. I mean, two people thumbs my Wonder Woman video down, but you gave me some engagement, so who cares? One, I always get comments from DC fans. Marvel videos, I don't know what's up with y'all. Y'all gotta step your game up because I never get a comment from you. I'll get 200 people watch a video, not a single comment. If I do a video on DC, I get 10 people commenting on it. And I don't know what it is, but I love y'all. And um, we may not all see eye to eye, but y'all are, are pretty civil on YouTube. I don't know if it's just different people or y'all just, we just vibe. If we just vibe, then you don't be mean to all those other people. I don't really care. Just be nice to me. I'm, I'm a pretty nice person. Be nice to be back. That's 2020, y'all. I'm not gonna look forward too much to 2021 because what are we gonna expect? I can let you know though um, about some videos that are going to be coming in the pipelines. I am doing an intensive rewatch of Scooby Doo, both straight DVD movies and TV shows. And I calculated if I watch an hour of Scooby Doo TV every single day, which I'm not. I wouldn't be ready to do a video on it till mid-February. So this video is coming to like March, the end of March, I can anticipate, because I can't. I started the pup named Scooby-Doo. I don't know how I feel about it yet. I watched two episodes. I'm not really digging it, but maybe it'll grow on me. Uh, I watched 11 seasons of Scooby and Scrappy-Doo, so there's that. Videos on all the Marvel stuff, um, except WandaVision. I can't be bothered. Like, you're telling me two weeks, I have to start making vid weekly videos on the show. Uh, I am going to do a video, a serious video, about um, some of the health stuff I've been talking about here and there on my channel. But um, if you do know about that, very good news. I can get the COVID-19 vaccine. It was a very long time I thought I couldn't. I'm immunocompromised, by the way. Just so you're aware. wasn't a, I don't want to get the vaccine because uh, there are uh, robots in it sort of thing. I don't care. Inject me. But, um... There's certain vaccines I can't take, so I can take it, So, I'll, and I'm in phase one, so I'll have to figure out uh, with my doctor when I can get that done. So I will definitely be doing a little journey on that, because, like, knowledge, information, stuff that y'all didn't, you know, you wouldn't know if you didn't have a video on it. Well, you're going to go to CDC, they're going to give a video on it. Mine will probably be more exciting, you know, just saying. Anyway, this is getting derailed, and this is what happens when I've had one cup of coffee, and I'm trying to stay up till midnight, and I did my makeup just for New Year's Eve by myself. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I would love for you to stick around.
and I will see you in the new year with a new video.